really cool, and I'm glad to see the numbers uh, like be presented to us. Yeah, it's nice to see some like hard data, but it doesn't give you a whole lot when you're not sure about like. Right. It, I think it's an amazing seeding tool. Yes. That's the bottom line. Yes. But obviously, it's representation for players who like. Uh, obviously, like, Bart has brought up balloon, has brought up a lot of stuff. It's like it's better to like go to one tournament, do well, and then not play. Right. It looks better for you, which obviously it shouldn't be that way. It should be about getting more results and being consistent and adding up those wins which uh, and accepting your losses. Like there are. Th Oh, it's even, got to eat it even more. You got it. Excellent. So the team we actually have up currently, uh, speaking of consistency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> speaking That's of a consistency. Good one. Uh, battery DC and Aura. And, and, and Juba. Juba. I, I, so I have a question for you. What's that? Has Juba been, because I've been, I'd say, part of the scene, I'd say about two years. Has Juba just been hiding and I've just not paid attention? Or is he kind of a reintroduction? That's definitely, kind of the answer. Definitely skilled, but just like... He went to I school in Washington. Ah, that answer. might explain it. So he came back, and he's going to be leaving again somewhat soon. Oh, really? We've had this funny joke. So I thought I held a really big fest roughly a month ago. And he came, and he had told me, he's like, yo, I'm going to be going to Washington after this. This might be the last time we play. Oh, right? wow. All right. Okay. And then I saw him like, at another fest next week. I was like, oh, that's cool. I guess not. And then another one. And then he's still here. <laughs> and he's just and that's I have no idea why he did School's happening that. eventually, but until yeah. then, hey, you never know. This may be the last one. Yeah. This and then the next one will be the last, last one. one. And then yeah. the one after that will also be the last one. I'm on my toes for it. Yeah, there you but go. But eventually he will be going back. Um, so. Note to be said, and for anyone watching from Washington, uh, Juba likes Oregon better. <laughs> Even with Tuck out. Same with Aura. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just saying. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, uh. The 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 le the legendary tuck house. What do you what do you got? Split second here. Yep. Right. So our current matchup currently, yeah, oddly enough, two Washingtonians uh, between these uh, four players currently in front of us. Uh, Battery DC and Aura, uh, newer additions to our current PR cycle. Uh, really, players who have just been on the come up and getting really consistent wins against a lot of the top players here in Oregon. Solid representation at our quarterlies and our monthlies. Yeah, and uh, I love hearing Battery DC and Aura uh, talk about teams uh, because it is very much the old married couple arguing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's many many car rides between the two of them, and I always like to prod them a little bit, like, "Oh, well, what do you feel about this?" Or, "Well, I think this person's a better doubles player." Yeah, and then the argument won't ensue. For they're adorable. Minutes. They're oh, one of they're it. they're top three cutest doubles teams in Oregon. <laughs> cutest doubles teams. You know, just like everything, <laughs> with encompassing everything. Yeah. Seeming like right now, seem like gentlemen getting a little bit more of a lockdown on Juba and Apathy, kind of towards the ledge. It's seeming like Aura's maybe trying to find his footing a little bit more in terms of uh, finishing edge guards for him, uh, but not quite finding the footing. Although with a lead, you know, I, I think, think really they're just looking to close out these stocks right now. The thing is, they really need to get rid of that peach stock, otherwise mm -hmm. they're going to end up in a two v one situation. But it's really not good. looking great and as a They right don't now. even get there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good. They split the field, solo edge guards. Bread and butter. Yeah, it's but like I mean, you take your side, I take mine. They kept it close. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if their counter pick is just enough to like help them like get the lead for it. Mm -hmm. um, it really depends on the information they draw too, though, because it doesn't really matter that much if you get the counter pick and don't have a way to right. use the benefit. Okay, so where do you feel that they're going to be counter picking? I have no idea. Really? Okay. I don't know what they like. I mean, Pokemon, because it's there's a one Peach on that side. But yeah. I don't know. I can see Pokemon. They both they're both Yoshi boys. I yeah, I could also see Yoshi's. I don't know how much they fear the potential for chain grabs by Aura, uh, but I could see a potential FD pick. The thing is, I doubt that they're really considering it, but they should be scared about that. I, I understand <laughs> the scared point, but I understand that uh, both uh, Apathy and Juba uh, are pride themselves on their fundamentals and their uh, ability to just like solid edge guards, particularly in like Fox Ditto. But the Peach is a different question. Like the wow. peach adds a little bit more to the equation since they're really these not. Boys, oh. Both these blue fox boys have been <laughs> shield the whole game. I, I mean, well, that was I, I'm liking the pressure from uh, Battery DC and Aura right now. Uh, Battery DC looking for kind of more of a pop up, and then Aura just yeah. getting that getting that peach down smash in, getting in that damage, uh, and you know, trying to close that stock. What I'm also liking from uh, Battery DC right now that I'm noticing is his use of up tilt currently is not only to cover platforms, uh, but as we saw, uh, Apathy was off stage. And or was looking edge guard and potentially it was an error affair. And if uh, Apathy had gone in, uh, Battery DC would still be covering with the up tilt. 
Yeah, absolutely. Which I'm noticing actually immediately. Um, what Jubilee's doing to like handle that, he's doing these tons of little short hops mm -hmm. that he's like an empty landing and just seeing what he can provoke. Because after he got punished for it, that's not seeing as many like tomahawk grabs off of it. Exactly. Though. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. I don't think he's using it well enough. But mm -hmm. it's nice to see that he recognized when that's why right. I got punished. I need to bait it and punish it back. Absolutely. He might just be feeling his movement <laughs> too, though. See, I'm not gonna lie. Just seeing the amount of pressure that better he's seen north. Beautiful tech. Wow. Yeah. Still this living. Yeah. No <laughs> Took way too much percentage for it though that he wanted. I mean, and now uh, it's three. I, I feel. I feel that's off. where Aura strives though. Is S once you, you need to. The fox needs to get in on Aura in the early percents because if you catch a down smash or get about three hits off of, or if the peach gets three hits on you. Or is just gonna get, you know, whatever fair or nair off stage he's gonna need to. Yeah, that's, this is that seems a little, uh, oh. <laughs> that seems a little, uh, show offy from, uh, Better see with the wall jump. When you're, when you're that yeah. Talk, so. When you're that much in the lead, like, you know, do, what, uh, do whatever you can.